so here we are hanging out in uh, Orlando, Florida. Cheryl, high five. Yeah. And Rob Greenfield, <laughs> you guys are both backlit heavily by the sun. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and um, treat these guys to their first meal. This is uh, some, some cinnamon buns. Yeah, we've even got um, extra sugar. Oh yeah. We, we probably want to put a little uh, icing and maybe let these guys cool down a hair, but really? Rob yeah. is not afraid. Pretty hot. <laughs> really? Well, you want to you wanna put the hot wanna potato cool in there first. It's pretty oh hot. God, it's that hot. <laughs> you yeah. are oh, yeah. brave, man. And how long was that cooking for? Uh, that was about half an hour. Oh. Yeah. yeah, all thanks to this Orlando sun uh, on a, in a kind of classic Florida day. Yeah, I have to grow forage or hunt 100% of my food for the year. And I'm excited to have the Go Sun to be able to cook a lot of my meals. Right now I'm in the beginning stage though. I have about a six month to nine month preparation time where I'm learning how to grow food in Florida, uh, learning how to forage, and then creating a stock of food so that when day one starts, I've already got meals so I don't have to worry about starving on day one. I have to make my own oil so I'm gonna have to harvest coconuts from the trees, mature coconuts, and make my own oil. Preserving my foods with salt. I have to, you know, I don't just have an infinite supply of dirt cheap salt. I have to go to the ocean, collect gallons of water, dehydrate that. Every gallon of water that I dehydrated, I'll get about three quarters of a cup of salt. So it's every little aspect of our food system, starting to understand that, deeply analyze it, and really deeply get connected with food in a way that is really hard to fathom until you start to really take apart all the strings of the entire globalized industrial food system that we live in. So the, the best use of solar energy ever right here. These folks are really practicing what they preach. <laughs> There's no dryer that gets on the Energy Star rating system. For some reason that appliance falls off. This one's not on there? Well, yeah, exactly. It yeah. ought to be. This is about 1,000 times more efficient than burning electricity. I was super fortunate to spend the day with Rob Greenfield. Seriously inspiring, humble guy that's really doing what he can. Just real basic, smart, simple, motivated, conscious. Love it. And this is two weeks ago. I looked just like this, and now they're like this. This is two weeks of growth, and then what happens is as they grow, every time it gets up about six inches, I'll roll the bag up, fill it with soil, covering the leaves, and that'll force it to keep growing. And if you do that, it'll just keep on producing more and more potatoes. Uh, and so this is a way you can do this on your balcony, in your backyard. Really simple, uh, you know, sort of a raised bed almost way of growing potatoes. The idea with my project of growing all of my food for a year is to not be surviving, it's really thriving. It's to be producing five times more food than I can eat, at least, that's my goal. Ooh, that smells good. So this is, this is actually the first time I'll have eaten a meal from a Gosun besides this morning's cinnamon, cinnamon buns? Yeah. That's looking good, it smells great. Yeah, and hot, steaming. A piece of garlic. Strong garlic. <laughs> I'm excited. So this is um, prickly pear cactus. You know, most people will walk past this and never realize that this is a delicious, delicious fruit. You gotta get the spikes off of it, but that's not hard. Just, it's really a pain to have these stuck in your tongue. <laughs> So, grocery stores throw away billions of dollars worth of food, and uh, a lot of the times the dumpsters are just full of perfectly good food. Like, here's a bag of carrots. And there's a carrot. Pretty darn perfect carrot. Now those baby carrots aren't so good. 
Yeah, there's actually quite a few good ones in there, but it's a little moist. Moldy cheese, maybe avoid. Acorn squash that you can cook and that has an outer shell protecting the insides, you're pretty darn safe. So it's really food common sense. Now I'm gonna come clean with you folks. Dumpster diving is intriguing, but better, Rob took me to a place where he was growing fresh food right in the suburban If, if you don't eat these greens, just put them right back in the ground. No garbage needed. Nature doesn't have garbages. And you can eat this right on the spot. Rob Greenfield really is just being himself and living free. His one year challenge makes the 40 days of sunshine look like a piece of cake. That food is going right into the grill, right in the front yard. And no veggie dogs. <laughs>